welcome back to 27 Fox Place. Over the past few weeks, we've made some much needed changes to our backyard patio and we've been restoring and fixing the things that we can and replacing the things that we can't and the lanterns have been hanging in the trees and needed to be cleaned up and restored and the weathered appearance can be charming, but anything exposed to the weather for prolonged periods of time will start to degrade without regular maintenance and the paint is oxidized and peeling and the rust is eating away at the metal, so I'm just going to use a wire brush to remove the rust and the loose paint so that I can give them a fresh coat of paint. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the mundane And as the I grabbed a can of primer that we had left over from another project and scratching up the old paint will give the new paint something to stick to, but the bare metal needs to be primed first. So I focused on priming the exposed areas and let everything dry before I gave them a fresh coat of paint. This was an easy project that didn't take a lot of time to do. Cleaning up the rust and the loose paint took most of the time, but once the metal was cleaned up, it only took a few minutes to paint them. And I ended up applying two coats of flat black paint to the metal frames. And the paint finish isn't perfect, <laughs> but it will keep the metal from rusting. While the paint was drying, I cleaned up the lantern globes and the glass just needed to be cleaned up with a little bit of soap and water. And once everything was dry, I put everything back together. I think we found these lanterns at Bed and Bath. We've had them for years now, and we have wisteria that we trained into small trees, and we just use S-hooks to hang the lanterns from the branches in the trees. The algae is slowly taking over this little concrete bird bath, so I had to pull out the pressure washer to clean it up. And the pressure washer is a quick and easy way to remove the algae, but there will still be some staining left behind. And I don't remember exactly where we found this bird bath, but we've had it for quite a few years now. And we just added this little solar pump to turn it into a fountain. Mm -hmm. 
we finally found a new set of furniture cushions to replace the old ones and I absolutely love them. We've had the same furniture for about 20 years now and the aluminum frames are durable and low maintenance but we've had to replace the cushions a few times over the years and we've had the same red cushions for more than five years now and the only thing I liked about them were the color and I like the red but red fades much faster than any other color and we were ready for a change and choosing a neutral color will give us more flexibility and the cushion inserts are dense enough to hold up their shape but soft enough to be comfy and the fabric has a linen look and feel but it's so easy to keep clean and I'll be sure to add links to everything in the description box but if you have any questions be sure to let me know in the comments The green folding tables that we've been using out here were always supposed to be temporary <laughs> and I've been looking for something affordable to coordinate with the furniture that we have and I finally found a replacement that I think we'll be happy with and they're made of cedar wood and they were very simple to assemble and they're the perfect size and shape for what we need but I did have a hard time choosing the right color and finish but we finally decided on the darker finish to contrast with the lighter fabric. Pine cones make great kindling but we've been storing them in buckets and I've been looking for something with a bit more visual interest and I finally found these baskets at Walmart and the open weave will allow airflow to keep the pine cones dry and I added a set of pot feet under the basket to keep them up off the ground and out of the water. We found these plastic planters at our local Costco for less than $20 each <laughs> and I haven't seen anything this size for less than $100 so we snapped up a couple to repot the trees on the patio. And we've been growing wisteria in these pots for about 10 years and we thought that the trees could benefit from a larger pot with some fresh soil. Getting the wisteria into their new home was a big job, so I had to call in the big guns to do the heavy lifting. We have verbena growing in these pots and they are drought tolerant but with all the rain we've had this year they're absolutely thriving and we've had doves nesting in the trees for the past few years <laughs> and luckily we were able to get the trees replanted before they came back and it took so long for the leaves to come back I thought they might have moved on but now that the leaves have filled in they've come back and started to rebuild. Oh, 
We replaced these plant stands with rolling caddies a few weeks ago, but I wanted to clean them up and reuse them. When pots sit on the ground, they can stain the concrete like they do these trays, and the stands keep the pots up off the ground so that it's easier to clean underneath the pots without having to move them around. And I just use an old scrub brush to clean up the dirt and the algae on the plastic. And the plastic liners cleaned up easily, but the metal stands were in bad shape. So I scraped off the rust and the loose paint like I did with the lanterns, and then I gave them a fresh coat of primer and repainted them with two coats of the flat black. Painting these stands won't make a noticeable difference, but it will keep them from deteriorating so that they last longer. And the old trays were thin and flimsy, so I happened to find a new set of drip trays to replace the old ones. I need to clean up the planters so that we can touch up the paint before we replant them. They're made of a lightweight foam material and we've had to repaint them a few times over the years and they were very inexpensive and they used to be available everywhere but we haven't been able to find them in years and to replace them with something similar would cost hundreds of dollars. And I love the style and design so I'll definitely want to keep using them. We've been trying to add more flowering plants to the patio and I found a lavender topiary that I'm hoping will do well in this spot and the purple in the lavender will complement the wisteria and verbena that we have on the patio. And I was looking for white geraniums to plant underneath but I couldn't find them anywhere so in the meantime I thought I would try this pacopa plant and I'm not sure if it will be a good match with the lavender. Lavender is drought tolerant and pacopa needs water <laughs> so I might have to split them up later if they don't don't do well together.
your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a dream, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes We are all about the good The opposite side of this little alcove was looking a little bare, so I picked up a few things to create a small vignette in this corner, and I found the baskets at Walmart for a great price, and they have a plastic lining, so all I had to do was plop in this rose tree that I found. And to conceal the nursery pot, I decided to add a little moss on the top. And we have moss growing all over the yard in places that I don't want it to grow. So it was easy enough to just dig some up and add it to the pot. And I just love how it turned out. Mm, wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. We found this little garden statue at Home Goods, and it's been knocked over and broken so many times it's actually missing pieces. <laughs> and it wasn't very expensive, but it can't be replaced, so it keeps breaking and we keep gluing it back together. And I love the distressed look, but I needed to cover up the glue that's holding it together. And at first I thought I would just prime the glue so that the paint would stick, but I ended up priming the whole thing and once it was dry, I repainted it with a textured spray paint and I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out and I just need to find a place where it won't get knocked over and broke it again. Seven years now on this boat and we all know where we belong, just wait. I'm obsessed with this little drum table that we found and I love the shape and the checkered wood pattern and I'm putting it here for now but it will probably float all over the patio <laughs> because we can use it as a table and we can use it for additional seating or a footstool. I know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you With the red cushions gone, something just felt a bit off and I needed to replace the red throw pillows. So I started searching for outdoor pillow covers that would fit the pillows that we already had. And one thing led to another and I ended up with new covers for almost all the pillows. <laughs> but the new pillows just brought everything together. It's just as to Be 
being more than friends. Yeah. You know I'm here to stay every single day. been looking for ways to add more light out here and I brought out some candles from inside and I found these rechargeable outdoor lights and the LED lights have a touch control and a USB charging port and it looks thin and lightweight but the base is surprisingly heavy so it won't be easy to knock over. These lanterns are battery operated and they have a timer that turns the lights on and off automatically and these Pottery Barn dupes add light and interest at a fraction of the price. I've mentioned before that we have storage underneath the grill but it's not completely closed off so dirt and leaves can still get in so I found a few containers to help organize the supplies that we store under the grill and to help keep them clean. This space has always been my favorite room in the house and I have always loved spending time out here, but now I'm completely obsessed and I still can't believe how just a few changes have completely transformed this space into an outdoor sanctuary. And we are so happy with the way this makeover turned out and we've been spending every spare minute out here.
lot as I need to see the horizon and the fog. Excuses were too for a penny, but they've all gone out the window of this car. And when I feel the wind on my That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today, and I hope to see you next time.